do we wait? Yeah, we got to wait and see what happens here. I mean, I'm on the edge of my seat just trying to see if there's going to be some crazy tech here for Prince. Prince, besides that one game against Morrow that he lost in game three, um, really has not shown any kind of interest in playing an ordinary game. And Looks now we've got like the Archon shop follow up. It seems like that, yeah. yeah. It seems like we should have, uh, you know, tech into Archons and then some harass. And who knows, man? Maybe Prince is going to be really good in, uh, you know, uh, a drawn out macro y type game here, too. Yeah. Let's see if a Dark Shrine actually comes up or not. Charge immediately. Interesting. All right. So. This is actually more of a macro S scoping. I think what we'll see is uh, instantaneously immortals being made to go with that. I think you're probably right. Because there's a forge on the way and probes are being made. But yeah, I think with charge this quick in that many gates, we have to see a mass sellout warp in as soon as the prism gets on the other I, side. I of the map. think you're right. Now, he again, he is getting that forge with that too. So yeah, so it might be like. Okay, let's do this attack and actually upgrade behind it. Get into a yeah. macro game still, but this this attack in and of itself. Do we have roaches tasteless? We don't. You gonna hold this with lings? Oh my god. Oh my Scarlet god. Scarlet does not see the warp in Scar. Oh man, and this is gonna go right on top of those queens. Yeah, head shake from Scarlet there. Her queens are gonna fall very, very quickly. Oh! Ooh, saves it right there. Okay, this can use that transfuse. A lot of lings getting in on top of everything now, but with the archons there to help. All right, the uh, next warping round is going to be above this. We see it just up there on the high ground. Warp Prism not taking much damage either, by the way. And yeah, the Queen's doing their absolute best here. Some of them getting very, very low. No transfusion energy left also. Uh, Scarlet, oh, oh good gets pick. a Prism and it had an Archon in it. Yeah, and that, that immediately shoots this rush in the heart. It is done. Scarlet took some damage there, yeah. but shot that down. Right before that camera shot, she gave a big smirk. Uh, and I, I think she should have, because when you look at that, I thought a lot more damage was going to occur. When she did yeah. not even see the warp in and immediately lost a yeah. queen, it, it's hard it was to looking emphasize. grim. If, if you don't see them warp in, you have so much less time to react. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Now look at this. Three Stargate. Three Stargate. Prince is such a cool Protoss. Yeah, and look at this. OK, he saw. Uh, he had to have seen the spire when he was over there, right? He must have, because this is such a good response the, to the yeah, mutas the that are Stargate coming Phoenix. out. This is like a map hacker move. Scarlet only saw two of the phoenixes and only one of the stargates. Yeah. Which, so, that's like normal. And you can still make your mutas and fly across the map and fight against someone who has two, three phoenixes. But here, it's going to be like plus one is on the way and three stargate phoenix. These mutas, they it's not going to look good. They are going to get so wrecked. Yeah, this is uh, really bad. When she sees this, it is. Yeah, this is going to be. She's not going to be happy. Well, she's going to be shocked. Um, this is going to be an investment that is actually going to put her behind. Yeah, she is teching up, right? She's getting all sorts of upgrades, going to Hydralisks and whatnot. Yeah, she's still set up for the late game. The Phoenixes have revealed themselves. Oh, my the God. Meat. Look at this. As they chase the roaches, the mutas fly into the main base. Beautifully okay. set up by Scarlet. So, had the Phoenixes been there to fight the mutas, this would be much better for. Uh, Prince, but instead we already have over 10 probes being killed off. Stalker's warping in, but I don't think this probe count's going to go. Uh, I think it's going to get a lot worse before it gets oh, better man. here. Look at that. And look, 19 probes being killed 20, off already. 22 probes have been killed here. And look, yeah, that sucks. The mutas are all taken out, but it's not like they didn't pay off. Well, that being said, right, like we actually have a pretty good standing army from Prince. Sure. Maybe Prince can go across the map and get some damage well, done. With the number of immortals and phoenixes here, you know, if you can pick up like everything, then then the immortals kill everything else. I mean, there's enough phoenixes. I think there's literally more phoenixes than there are hydras right now. Yeah, I think you're probably right oh, about that. Actually, almost the same ups. number. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my Prince God. actually just destroying almost everything here. Prince with such a range of play here today. I love it. And I got to say, I'm, I'm shocked to be saying this. It does look like Scarlet might lose this game. Yeah. But we're going to see if uh, she can handle this push. But when you see them push past this first hatchery and drones are being pulled, it's usually a bad sign. Yeah, generally. Uh, now, that Spore is actually taking care of the Prism. The Prism's gone. So maybe there's some sort of chance here. But behind all of this, I mean, Prince has a lot of production still. 12 drones going down. 
Oh my gosh, she's gonna hold it. Wow. I can't believe this. You know, you can never really <laughs> afford to lose that warp prism. Yeah, when the well, attacks it coming in. It's just like that is what really gave her hope, flanking with that spore. Yeah. There was no targeting down, there was no moving of the uh, the prism by Prince. Yeah. Prince did the homework. That much is for sure. And you see that in his prep, but it, it just seems like overall there's a little bit better control, but let's see how act two of this fight goes. This is a scary army once again. And a lot of the phoenixes are gone and everything, and there are banelings coming in. The banelings are gonna help out quite a bit against these zealots. Okay, now it's gonna be Archons in the front line with one immortal. The phoenix number again is very, very low. We have some micro here with the warp prism trying to help these units that are injured get away. Again, everything pretty uh, pretty heavily damaged here. Scarlet doesn't seem to have anything back here despite oh having God. so many workers. It seems like this army is going to continue to push here. Yeah. That immortal is still very low on HP. And the prism's still around. That's a big problem. Another warping round can be put out. 25 drones going down. We're over 30 now as well. Targeting on that prism. She does pick it off, and she might just hold on here once again. Yeah, it seems like Scarlet will once again narrowly survive, but Prince, again, the damage has been dealt. That uh, was so many drones going down. Scarlet's back up to 61 workers, but that's time that she didn't have to make attacking units. She does have some more army as well, though. Um, lurkers can be very good depending on the angling you have when you're taking them. Remember that Archons are not that great against lurkers. Uh, Hold position, Lurkers. Oh, my God. Oh! oh! Surprise! That is some real damage right there. Beautifully done by Scarlet, and that just tore through all of the shields on those Archons. Yeah. They it, are now obsolete the and will not be able to end. fight. Yeah, that's it. Scarlet with some great play there. Wow. Wow. And look at this. Now Prince, well, it's on to the next stage. Going for that Fleet Beacon. Looks like Carriers are going to be his tech of choice moving forward. Prince is no longer in that good spot that he was in before. Well, this is going to be cool because Prince is now giving us an opportunity to see his late game. Late, late, late game. Yeah. DBZ. He's going for carriers. Yeah. It, it, the thing that bothers me is how he got here. We don't have Psy Storm. We don't have attack upgrades. Right? That's There's true. no blink. There, it's like we have charge and we have plus one air weapons. And that's the upgrades. I guess we can consider warp game. Plus right, one air weapons is not going to be one of the useful things. Oof. Well, it's good with carriers, sure, but it's like, good, but it's not. How are you going to? The rest of your army, what is it going to do? Zerg won't attack and they go, no, air upgrades. <laughs> okay, Scarlet is moving in now. now. Keep in mind where the position of each of the Protoss uh, army groups is. Because it looks as though Scarlet wants to actually try to push up into this area. Oh, this will allow the Protoss Army to merge up together here. Ooh. Harpooning the first carrier, Ooh. harpooning the second. All right. Yeah, good harpoons there. Uh, killing off two of the carriers, two of three. Which really more and more results and Archons for Prince. This is getting really desperate because this army, I mean, yep. against Lurker. Prince really <laughs> wants to exploit the position, the positional difficulty that we'll have. It is mm -hmm. to, to just advance in here easily. But it looks like Scarlet's found that opening. Not enough there to uh, make any kind of concave that could drive that around uh, away. Yeah. Uh, is Scarlet going to go for the top base here? I think it as seems long as like she takes this carefully, oh, it's it's not, like impossible to see how Prince breaks through this. Not enough uh, carriers with interceptors to ever want your interceptors to go out versus the Hydras. The Hydras just mm. immediately shoot it down. True. Another warp prism coming in here. All right, now, let's see zealots, what do. The zealots just disappear with these lurker yeah, shots. even with the overcharge. A flank comes in, though. This is still a big army uh, from Prince. It's just uh, Scarlet's army is so strong. Oh, my God. Oh, the lurkers. Oh my God. Okay, she's, finally does take she's that She's getting out. driven out here. Yeah, yeah. I'm shocked. Yeah, those good archons from Prince. had a very good arc against the lurkers. Yeah, the flank was really, really nice, and Prince was basically maxed out as well. Still liking it for Scarlet, though, to be honest. Sure. No, I see I see what you see here. If, if Prince is... had splash damage, if there were... Psystorm would be the best. Right. But it, even some disruptors here could be really helpful. Well, especially against Hydra Lurker like this. Yeah, yeah. But Prince has fought back pretty well. Prince is still trying to finish the tech tree that was neglected early on because he wanted to have more power in, in his push. But now Psystorm's coming in here. 
Looks like Protoss is going to throw down a fifth base. I'm not clear on if there's a creep blocking that there or not, but a fifth base is going to get set up. Prince can now move out and start to chew through the creep tumors that were giving Scarlet a really good highway mm -hmm. towards uh, his base. And um, yeah, I mean, now we have a, enough Templar Storm halfway done. This has been a real back and forth game. Yeah, I love yeah. it. In the, in the meantime, uh, Scarlet's actually adding a huge amount of lurkers. Yes. It's actually surprising to me how many lurkers she's making here. I wonder what the reasoning is. Maybe that's just enough to zone out the High Templars and Archons and Zealots, because that's kind of the scary part of the army in a lot of ways. But there's a good carrier count. Oh, mispathing right there. Got to be careful about that. Here come the Vipers, but there are there are Templars out here. Ah! Okay, one carrier caught. The oh. second harpoon is a death sentence. Scarlet, gonna look for another position here. Remember, without creep down here, it's harder for her to move as freely. Uh, there's a fifth base being taken about a screenshot below what we had when we were looking at the Zerg's army back there. A small encounter attack is certainly gonna be enough to take out this uh, Nexus and all the workers here if Prince can't deal with it very quickly. Well, some good uh, ducks coming up here once again. A High Templar and a Carrier being picked off. Prince losing that fourth base. Just brutal. He really needed that to have a real chance here, I think. Yeah, I love the harpooning play here. Uh, yeah. We're going to have a push come in here. Now, this is enough side storms. It could be hard for the Zerg to deal with, but I guess the Lurker Spines, there's enough shots coming off that it does not matter. GG Scarlet takes game two, bringing us to the final game. In